Oh boy, it's the Prisoner of Alakazam or whatever. The game I'm the most familiar with, and the only Harry Potter game I really have any nostalgia for since I never played any of the other games until months ago. So I've been looking forward to this one. My videos in the last couple of series were rough around the edges, so hopefully the overall quality of this... The fuck you looking at? It says here that Sirius Black has escaped from the wizard prison Azkaban. No one's ever broken out before. Oh my god, look at Crookshanks. It looks like a pile of vomit, or maybe a fire and bug type Pokemon that a random kid invented. Sirius Black looks like... Twelve years ago, Black murdered 13 people with a single curse. Well, at least we'll be safe at Hogwarts. Yeah, because you've never been in danger there before. I overheard your dad talking about... You can Sirius barely Black see Black Harry's scar. Oh the wait, there it is. Okay, just making sure. Black's escaped to come after you? Oh, Harry, you'll have to be really, really careful. Oh, and Hermione is blonde in this game. I don't go looking Why? Like, literally golden me. hair. They'll Look at him, it. Won't they? I mean, they've got all the muggles looking out for him, too. Well, oh, there goes Scabbers. I don't think a normal cat would have just slammed into a door like that, but it explains Crookshank's smushed face if he does that often. Don't worry, Rob. We'll help you find Scabbers. Oh my god, that's weird. Look at him when he smiles like that. He looks especially weird at this angle because the sides of his glasses go up into his hair and both the glasses and his hair on the side of his head are curving upwards on the same arc that his mouth is. And... It looks like his whole face is twisting itself into that shape. On the other hand, they've made a decent attempt here to have more expressive faces than the last game, so that's good. So yeah, I'm just standing still here for several seconds trying to see if my Xbox 360 controller does anything with this game. It doesn't. Oh, brilliant. Got doesn't anywhere. understand that it's wrong Are the characters always going to be talking hurt. over each other? Did I run down the hallway faster than the developers anticipated? Hold down the left mouse button to activate your wand. Keep I already know how to do this. Fuck off. That's it! I'll help you take off the mouse button, and you can't spell. There he is! We can climb over this luggage, Harry. We just need to walk up to it, and we'll be able to start climbing. Oh. We'll have to jump up to climb over those crates. Right then, you lead the way. I don't necessarily what? mind this level of explanation for how to jump over a fucking box, but at least tell me that while I'm still in control of the character. No need to take control away from me for a cutscene-like explanation. If I already know what to do, then let me just go ahead and do it. I feel like there was supposed to be a texture here in between the train cars. I suppose we'll have to push this thing out of the way. Or one of us could cast a pulso. Yeah, that's something that changed. In the last game, the spell symbol was for Rick to Semper instead. Where's that rat? There's usually something inside these. Did Harry seriously just try to instruct Hermione fucking Granger what kind of spell to use to do something? And there's an extra level of absurdity here too, given that Hermione was the one who taught Harry how to perform the Alahomora spell in the Sorcerer's Stone game in the first place. You're early for the lesson, Harry, but I'll teach you a new spell I've learned on my own. The spell I learned is Alahomora. It will open magically locked things, but don't get into any mischief. This is the symbol for Alahomora. When I stop, hold down the mouse button and make the same pattern. Then let go of the button. She even awarded her own house points and everything. How do you not remember this? Now you try using Alahomora. We still have a few minutes before the charms lesson. That door in front of you is magically locked. Cast Alahomora to open it. Take a look at that magical chest. Cast Alahomora to unlock it. I mean, really, not only did you have the same developers, Amaze Entertainment, working on the first three of the PC versions of these games, but you even had the same subsidiary studio, No Wonder, handling these titles for Amaze Entertainment. So you'd think they'd remember how prior games in the series were put together better than anyone else, yet here I am noticing this shit. And are we seriously looting items from students and staff during this train ride? 
It is interesting, though. Now we get to sometimes play as Ron and Hermione in this game. Although there's no way to freely switch between the characters whenever you want, so if you want to play as a certain character, you'll have to know what part of the games you want to play again. Meaning you can't do the same thing repeatedly while in control of different people. I also like how I can comment on a game that I've played multiple times growing up and compare it with the previous two games, which I had never played before I had started making videos for YouTube. Really, Ron? You might think about training your rat. What the fuck is Scabber supposed to do? Stand still while a cat lunges toward him? I don't see you training your cat to leave him alone either. I'll start, and you two join in. Yeah, that's another new mechanic. Certain objects require the same incantation from two or three people. It's a gargoyle, of course. Cast Lumos at it, Ron, and a secret area will light up. How the fuck do you know the Lumos spell, but you don't know what the gargoyles are for? And how is this a secret area? It's just the remaining three quarters of the train car. Watch out! Finally, a bit of action. Did Harry seriously just let that book... What did it even do? Throw a glitter bomb at him? And just a note, this game along with the previous two games runs fine on Windows 7. I've never had to mess with compatibility settings except for setting the Sorcerer's Stone to run in compatibility mode for Windows 98 slash ME. Fuck off, Hermione, you already have a chest. Also, I'm playing this in 1080p. There's a site that shows you how to modify one of the configuration files for Prisoner of Azkaban. I'll put a link in the description for that. I could only get the last two games to go up to a resolution of 1024 by 768 I don't remember for sure anymore, but I think even if you could get them up to 1080p, the image would just look stretched. Whereas the Prisoner of Azkaban game offers true widescreen support to actually expand to the sides of the picture, rather than just stretching it out. Look who it is. Hottie and the Weasel. Hottie and the Weasel? <laughs> Look at Hermione's face while this exchange is going on. She looks bored out of her mind. In fact, that's what most characters look like most of the time during these games. So Draco can just walk away, but these three are still stuck here? I pointed out during the Sorcerer's Stone game how Harry sometimes yells out his incantations very loudly and how annoying that could get. Well here, there are now times where not only are the incantations being yelled out, but there's three people doing it at once now. And in the middle of all that, Harry says, Everyone cast Rick to Sempra, as if he's unaware of what's going on around him. Is it okay to scream now? Why would you scream afterwards? You really do need to work on the accuracy of your spell casting. Wow, Hermione, you don't have to be an asshole about it, you witch. Wait, is it considered insulting if I call her a witch within the context of a world like this? Eh, probably not. Press the escape key and click on the picture of the card at the top of the screen. Scabbers! You've given us a lot of trouble, you useless rat! Come on, let's get back to our compartment before we're missed! Ugh. I wish the train slamming on its brakes sounded a little less screechy. How many times in these games do I have to mention that WD-40 is a thing that you can get from the Muggle world pretty easily? And that's assuming you don't have an anti-screeching spell in the first place, which you honestly should. Now oh, there goes Harry. Run! Do whatever you can to block the door! I'll go for help! Block the door? What? What's out there? I'll tell you what's not out there. An actual Dementor. Nothing is being frozen right now. Holy shit! I just realized how spacious the inside of these cargo trains are. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, and there's that thing banging its way through the door. I guess there's a mist effect, but that's about it. Nothing is freezing, so it's probably a Boggart or a Wild Ditto or something. It's just splintering that wood effortlessly. 
None of us is hiding serious black under our cloaks. Go! Nice cum shot. Hurry! Are you all right? Yeah. What happened? What was that thing? The Dementor. One of the Dementors of Azkaban. No, it wasn't. We established this already. Hogwarts in a few minutes. Are you sure you're all right, Harry? Fine. I'm fine. I could have caught that ditto if I hadn't fainted. 